Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Falcon Plays the uh, Xenonauts, and we're still doing the alien defense mission, much to my surprise, much to your surprise maybe too. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I feel like I've killed every single alien fucking imaginable, and we're still... What is this shit over here? I guess this one they're blowing stuff up, huh? I feel like we've dealt with every alien imaginable, yet we have still finished this mission. Like, I don't even know what's left. I'm honestly, I've killed everybody that I could imagine and uh, it still hasn't ended. It's like a fucking my own personal nightmare come through. I don't know when it's gonna end. And I'm scared. I feel like we've survived just by, you know, playing it really safe, but fuck, what else is there left now? So at this point, what we have to do is just kind of uh, gather our wits again, recharge, maybe grab some alien weapons for people that have no longer any ammunition. Dave Nunya might be a good candidate to actually grab a weapon from somebody. Um, Dave's over here, huh? All right, Dave, how about you go and grab a purple dude's weapon or let's see here. I have one more shot with Stalker Pride with this pulse cannon, so I'm going to definitely hold on to that for now. Uh, Saru, my train was actually completely filled up with ammunition, so not a problem there. Uh, Sid Boo could reload after next uh, turn. Guinea is um, our shield dude, so let's even forget about the whole gun there and thing with him. Saru King has at least three more barrages, I want to say. Uh, Lurvy still is good. Who gives a shit about Blake? <laughs> I'm sorry, Blake. And Silver is completely out. So Silver and Dave need an upgrade. That's for sure. So what, how do we play this first and foremost? Well, we have two of these, um, you know, Sonic dudes over here. I guess we'll just braid their weapons, right? So I'm gonna send, uh, I'm gonna send Guinea out here first and foremost, or not Guinea, but Dave. How are we looking over there? That still seems to be closed still, so that's good. So let's have you move here. And let's see what this dude had. I'm gonna show what the fuck is this. A precision plasma. Oh, that's that's a sniper. That's a plasma sniper. Oh, he had a fucking grenade too. That's amazing. Alrighty, so Dave, you grab the grenade at the very least. I'm gonna leave the precision lasers to um Sid Boo, I wanna say, because obviously he's more proficient with it. Um so although you know what? No, no, he's more proficient with it. So what I'll have him, I'll have Dave do is move over here instead, and maybe we could grab. Yeah, here we go. We have a, you know, a plasma rifle, which is a little bit more up Dave's alley anyway. Um, I can't unfortunately equip it right now. So let's say fuck you to this gun, med kit. We're gonna hold on to, and let's say fuck it to this ammunition as well. Um, you know, this stun stuff isn't really helping us at this point. Obviously, I can't carry this just yet. We'll equip it after the next turn though. And then let's grab this from the ground if we can. We definitely can. Good, right? So he at least has some weapons for our next uh, assault here, whenever that's going to happen. And I'm going to send Silver over here. Oh, Silver. It was Sid Boo. It was Silver, not Sid Boo. And then we'll send Silver over here. And he's going to grab himself this guy once we get the chance here. Um. Okay. So let's hold on to everything here actually this could all be useful at some point let's go and do away with med kit though it seems kind of a little bit sketchy for me to do but let's just try it this way okay tu after penalties 49 oh that's really fucking terrible let's get rid of one of those smoke grenades I i'm here's my here's my uh what i'm worried about if i was to drop this laser gun this precision laser on the floor do i lose it completely or do i still keep it i'm not sure i've not aware of what happens here. See, this will put me up to 66. Alrighty, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that these guys have the sense of mentality that after the mission's over, they'll fucking go around and grab the shit that he put on the floor, right? Let's imagine that's going to happen, right? So we'll put that there, and that's it. I'm going to put us at 66 to use after the penalty, so that's understandable. Alrighty. So, do I have any moves left here? Kind of do, but let's just stay by the doorway. It seems a little bit safer, and then... Yeah, you go over there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Alright. So, what else are we looking at? Blake is done. So, at this point, we just kind of wait. Right? I'm not going to go out and look for aliens right now. I mean, I could. I probably will if I see nothing's happening. But for now, we just have to play it safe and expect that the aliens will come after us. Train is in a tough spot. I don't want him here behind, you know, this shit. So, what I'm going to do with Train is move him back, if I can, back into some coverage over here, at the very least. That's what I'm probably do with most of my people. Let's just get them back into coverage. We had a really good, a successful situation here, but it's about time that we start really getting in for a few of them now. So Lurvy could go and just, uh, I guess you can still hang out there for now. All right, so we're going to end our turn here. And maybe... No aliens, huh? Oh, 
Okay, I'm, I'm confused. Does that mean it's over? Do I just go inside the base now and that's it? I mean... Alright, Blake, open open the door, Blake. Do me a favor. Just go in there. Maybe... Maybe I, I fucking phone home or something. Maybe I'm like E.T. and, you know, they'll just come and be like, Alright, it's over. We're done. I can't close the door anymore? Are you kidding me right now? I can't close the door again. Oh, that's, that's fucking great. Well, aliens just walk in, apparently. I just ruined the whole mission right now. Um, alrighty. So, you equipped this. Excellent. Excellent, indeed. Alrighty. So, we're, we're good with him. Now, we need to get him back into coverage, obviously. So, let's just have you go and post up over here. No aliens over there, it seems. So, we do know that much. So, let's just have you post up here. Now, um, Sid Boo needs to recharge. Good. Okay. And no, don't move. Stalker Pride also needs to recharge. And he's not doing it, meaning this is not the wep this is not the ammo for this gun. That's really unfortunate then. What am I standing on? Destroyed human corpse. Oh, <laughs> that's one of our rookies. Oof, that's terrible. Alright, <laughs> never mind. Um, this is for the alien plasma battery. I thought this was a plasma cannon. How does it recharge? Does it not recharge them? I don't know, man. I'm not sure about this alien technology. Alright, so what we're gonna do with Stalker Pride, then just move over here and grab Purple Dude's uh, weapon, whoever, whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah, like a handgun? Or oh, this is actually the shotgun of the equivalent, I do want to say. <sighs> I guess it's better than nothing, though, right? Um, so we'll just grab that too as well. Okay. Yeah, it's better than nothing, so, you know, what can I really say about that at this point? Um, and then Stalker Pride, let's have you move yourself back over here, I want to say. Alrighty, so we're going to give the aliens a few uh, turns just to see what they're plotting and see if there's anything we can do or if there's something coming at us. If not, then, well, you know, we just move on. I guess we're going to have to go out and look for them. I guess there's no other alternative at this point. Uh, Dave... Go over here and take a look over there. Mm, nothing? No, nothing over there. Alrighty. Well then. Just a little bit terrified as to where to put Dave right now. Let's just put you in by the entrance. Okay. So let's end turn. Fuck. Nobody's coming at us. It worries me. I don't want to go out there, man. Fuck, I feel like I'm going to have to, though, but that seems really foolish. All right, so we're going to send Guinea, obviously, because he's my shield dude that's left. We're going to send Guinea, and um, Sorrow King I would love to send, but at the same time, he has no good armor. So we're going to send Guinea along with, at this point, my train was, my heavy weapons dude. So both of you guys have to kind of scout it out a bit for us. Actually, you know what? I should have just gone and opened this door and kind of get a better look through this, huh? Alright, but we know that this is closed, so that's good. Um, we know this is open, so there might be some aliens still roaming about over there. So what I'll do with him is just move Guinea over here. Alright. And then you ho hang up over here, alright? That's what we're going to do. And we'll end our turn here, I want to say. Everybody just hang out over there, though. We just have these guys kind of scope it out for us, maybe get some eyes. If we see something, we just fucking rush back. Alright, so Guinea, move forward a bit. No aliens. Still no aliens. There's a door open here, so we can assume that they came in through this exit. Nothing here? Okay. Cool. Uh, my train, follow in pursuit, please. Or not too close, but a little bit like in coverage, I would say, at the very least. Actually, I think we'll be relatively safe if I would do this. Alrighty. Let's just continue going forward. I guess, uh... It's probably better to send a few more people, but at the same time, my my real goal here is to get some eyes on aliens and then just fucking book it back and retreat. Nothing here. That door is closed, and this is closed as well. Hmm. So the aliens did come in through here. That, that much we do know. Alrighty, so this room we haven't checked out. Seems to be the barracks of some kind. So you go behind him. Next room, we'll open this door and find out. Now, it's possible that I'm just heading the wrong direction completely. And, you know, that, that could be the case, but... Hey. 
Alrighty, and these are closed, meaning there's no aliens over here, because otherwise there's no exit to this place, there's no entrance to this area from here. And secondly, the doors are closed, meaning they obviously couldn't get through there unless they were teleporting around. Which I'm not sure if they do that. Does Sonic do that? I would imagine Sonic would teleport around, wouldn't he? Alright, so let's end turn. We'll continue just kind of scoping this place out. I could probably send another party elsewhere, but I'm not going to really risk it, man. At this point, it seems kind of foolish considering everything we've survived. I don't want to throw it away at this point. I'm relatively proud with how everything went down, though, I mean. It could have gone a lot worse, that's for sure. I normally don't play this, uh, you know, safe and secure, but I, I honestly see the benefits of it now, considering... If we could pull out of this without, like, you know, by just losing, um, rookies and the big bad booty? Ah, uh, you know what? Mission accomplished, I would say. Alright, so this door is closed. Uh, we don't know about the one over here, though. Alright, so you pop your head out over here really quickly, and door is closed already. That one is closed, and so is this one. Is there any entrance over here? Not particularly. Okay, so we're about to circle this area almost just about, it does seem to me. Alright, that one is open. So there could be some aliens over this side, so let's just be very careful about moving forward here. Uh, you flank me behind, please, alright. We don't know about these doors either, though. Mm. Go through this door really quickly. Okay, this one's closed. Uh, we don't know. Oh, we know that one was closed too when we came in through there. So, okay, safe over here and turn. I don't know what's left. If there's no aliens left and I'm supposed to do something to kind of trigger the end of this mission, then I apologize. I'm just kind of wasting everybody's time here. But again, I've never done an alien base mission before or an invasion mission. So I'm a little bit confused as to what the end goal here might just be. Um, this was closed, meaning that should be relatively safe over here, too. So what the fuck's the end goal here? What am I looking for? Is there any aliens left? What do I do? Do I just exit? <laughs> do I go out and exit? I'm not sure what the problem is at this point. I'm a little bit perturbed at this fucking thing that's not telling me what to do. <laughs> just give me some instructions on the screen, like, all right, idiot, you, uh, f you know, offended the base, it's time to, you know, go home. Press this button or go through this door to fucking end the mission, and I'll do it. The game's just being really cryptic right now. It says hidden movement, but that's gonna it's gonna tell me that regardless if there's aliens or not. I mean, you I'm so used to the mission just ending once you know you kill every alien. Oh, it doesn't seem like there's anything over here, right? Is there like a a mission objective? No, <laughs> there's not. Okay. Um I mean there's still rooms we haven't checked out, obviously, so we can't necessarily say that the game is purposely not telling me that it's over but um you know at the same time this is still relatively annoying all right you go through there and then you go through here we'll pop this open this is still closed and that's still closed over there and so is that door meaning more than likely there are no aliens about over here but let me put you behind coverage just in case let's end my turn uh, I might cut some of this, guys, just for, in case, you know, in case there's no aliens, I'll just probably cut all this together and fucking wrap this up into the next episode where we do something, because uh, at this point, this might just be boring for everybody involved. I apologize for that, but again, I'm slightly mentally retarded, apparently, and I don't know where I should be going right now. Alright. Now, here's the thing. What do I do if I just run into an alien? Well, um, that's a good question. That's a question that I haven't really uh, thought about too well just yet. I mean, I'm just kind of com coming out here with, like, two guys, expecting to run into, like, one alien. What if there's another platoon waiting for me somewhere? Well, then that would just be the tits now, wouldn't it? Um, alright. Let's go through here. Aliens. Nothing in there. Alright. You go and open this door, I would say. At the very least, we're getting a tour of our base, right? <laughs> that's the upside, too, as I imagine. Anything in here? Nope, that's where our research department is, by the way. If you look to your left, uh, that's where our Xenonauts units do their uh, research on alien technology. And to your right, you'll see a nice condominium complex founded by uh, Captain uh, Dave Nunya Business. Uh, let's see, so obviously I can just rush him forward. There's nothing to be scared of over here. Alrighty, well... Let's not, let's not be too hasty here, Falcon. I'm getting anxious, I'm getting really antsy, but... 
I can't just go balls to the wall just yet. All right, so if I go through this area and there's nothing about, then we're done, right? There's one exit over here, meaning there could be some aliens here. So this is the last area I would imagine that we'd have to really be worried about. Oh, I should probably use my hotkeys to kind of uh, surf through these guys a lot easier, right? <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are probably getting annoyed at this fucking scrolling shit. But unfortunately, um, I am a PC plebe and I forget that, you know. All right, he's number two, so let's just stay that. What, what about you, Guinea? What are you? You're three. So two and three, all righty. So there you go. Let's use some shortcuts for this. Um, do I open the door with him now? Uh, I guess. Oh! Oh! -ho. All right. So, um, we were right in assuming that the mission will end once everything is dead. Obviously, everything is not dead. Meaning, um, we still have to deal with this motherfucker here, and who knows what else might be over there. So, what do we do? Well... Yeah, okay, let's just duck him right now. Do I have any smoke grenades with him? I don't. Alrighty. So we're in a tough spot over here. Especially only two people to deal with this, but okay. Um, Can I get somebody to back us up, maybe? Stalker Pry, would you be a good backup? You have like a shotgun. You have a smoke grenade too, so that could be kind of relatively useful. So let's move you forward a bit. At the same time, you'll give us some eyes over here too, which wouldn't be a bad thing at this point. So, yeah, let's move you up to here at the very least. Post up and crouch down. Alrighty. Alright, so here comes this dick bag. Resist it and he missed. Did I just luck out completely? I think I might have. Is that it? Is this the last alien? Please tell me. Oh, there's still a alien turns going on, meaning. Oh my fucking god. It's not the end of the mission, is it? It's not. This area over here is going to be packed with aliens. I just know it already. I had two, one too many little alien turn things going on to let me believe that this was the end of this fucking mission. Alrighty, uh, my train, do you have a shot here? You definitely do. Take it. <gasps> that was the end of the mission! Oh yeah! Falcon! End of the mission, I'm sorry, I'm not sure why I'm turning into Macho Man's Randy Savage right now, but I fucking did because I'm happy that we finished it. There was only one alien left and we- look at this shit, aliens killed 20 of 20? We lost two Xenonauts, you know, it's understandable, and we lost Big Bad Booty Daddy. But you know what? We lost two rookies, none of my actual mainstays of the series, so I am fucking happy. Look at this, we got a Harridan Soldier Corps, we got an Alien Precision Plasma. What you gonna do, brother, when Falcon runs wild on your base? Alrighty, whatever, we're done with the wrestling impersonations. I'm sorry for the slow episode, I was having to have to keep this as an episode, but I'm... Apologizing for walking around so long, but you know, I had to, you know, make sure I don't know when the base was gonna end, man, when the mission was gonna end. You have to understand, I've never done this before, and it, you know, we actually survived. Sid Boo's like, you know, injured for two days, that's fucking perfectly okay. God damn, that was so good. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I sure as fuck did, because I survived against all odds. That's really surprising. I'll catch you guys next time.